Okay, so today during math, we're going to be working on reading, counting, and writing the numbers 16 and 17. First, we're going to watch a video. What does the picture show? It shows some pigs. How can you tell how many pigs there are? You can count them. Let's count all the pigs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Why do you see a 17? Okay, so they just used a very special counting strategy. This is one that we don't use very often when we're working with pictures, but it's one that you can use when you're trying to count objects. It's called move and count. If you notice, as he was counting, the pigs were moving, almost as if he was picking them up. Move and count is a strategy that you can use with objects. There are 17 pigs in all. Let's show 17 with counters and a 10 frame. Okay, so we're gonna click try it. Let's see if we can model the pigs with a 10 frame. Okay, so it says, There are 17 pigs. Use counters and the 10 frame to show 17. Okay, so our counters are over here and our pigs are over here. So we need to model 17 pigs and we have one 10 frame. So let's start. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, my ten frame is full, but I have no more room. Where should I put the rest of my counters? Hmm. Oh, maybe I should make a new row. Let's see, I have ten. I'm going to count on from ten. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, let's see if we were right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The 10 frame is full. Make a new row below it with the other counters. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. How do the counters match the pigs? It looks like we were right. We filled our ten frame and then we made a new row. So when we started counting at 10, and then we counted on to 17, let's see if we were right. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Correct. Both show 17. How are these ways to show 17 different? One way shows 17 pigs. The other shows 17 counters. What number do you see? Okay. So let's look at this number. There's a 1 and a 7. Is that the number 17? Yes, it is. But there's also a number that sometimes we get confused with the number 17 because it has a 1 and a 7 also. It's the number 71. 
sometimes we confuse these two numbers because they both have ones and sevens. But in the number 17, the one always comes first. It is the number 17. Why is this number shown? Seventeen is how many pigs there are. What do you think this number will be if you trace it? It will be a seventeen. Where do you start? Start at this dot at the top. Trace down. Now trace the other number. Start at this dot at the top of the seven. First, trace across. Now, trace down to 7. Read the number. It says 17. Okay. So when we're writing numbers, we always need to remember to start at the top and to come down to the bottom. We don't start writing our numbers from the bottom just like letters. We always start at the top. Okay. So today, you're going to have your interactive student edition pages to work on, and you'll be working on reading, counting, and writing the numbers 16 and 17. Again, if you need any help reading any of the questions, please ask your parent. The questions will be located at the bottom of the page. Please feel free to reach out if you need any help.